Hello and welcome, I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. We're in episode number 42 of Let's Play Lux Invicta for City Kings 2. He's assaulted that holding back right away, which is fine. I'm going to disband these troops. Actually, we could go kill this army real quick. Let's do that. But I need more men. I might have to hire mercenaries. Or, it might be time to just get that, uh, to just finally buy a retinue. As far as technology goes, we're getting a fair bit of points. Almost enough for level 2 military tech. It's just Jute Van Kempen. Who are you trying to kidnap? I'm going to find this darn thing. Who's Jute Van Kempen? Everyone seems to want to kidnap Jute. Who is this Jute woman and why do you care about her? I don't care about Jute. No. Leave me alone. Apparently, we've really gained a better understanding of military combat. And I've almost become exalted among men. Droving techniques is complete. Okay, so we'll disband that. I only have 2,000 men available. How are we going to do this? Like, I don't have any holy orders. Just give me some troops to lead. I can I can do all kinds of things with good men. I could hire 3,253 men for 329 gold. The Neapol Neapolitan Company. Mostly light infantry, just a bunch of dummies. Now that one, on the other hand, look at all that heavy cav. I think that's the one that we want. Fewer men, but heavy cav and heavy infantry. The Legio II Solus Invicti. Gennadios Trichas. That's the one I want. Let's hire him. And I need to put... Oh, God. And he he's three marshal. He's got these fantastic troops, and he just doesn't even know how to do anything with it. This is the third time I've failed and, I think, been exposed in my plot to kill that duchess. So, obviously, she's probably pretty upset with me. It's her, right? Demanding conversion, but she thinks that I'm an infidel. Yeah, let's try to kill her again. I can't kill her. Okay, let's kidnap her. Then I'll execute her. I'm gonna wait maybe a month or two. We've got plenty of time, because we're winning the war. I could get married. There's always that. Hmm. Well, since the woman that I wanted to marry is so old. Oh, interesting. How do you have a daughter? No, that's not what I'm looking for. I want to marry this one. What is going on with her not being on the list? Is she, like, being held prisoner, maybe? Oh, she's apparently not eligible for marriage. Oh, ah, duh, arranged marriage. Arranged betrothal. I know what I'm doing. I'm so dumb sometimes. Um, apparently we're at war. Okay, we'll have to wait off. Wait a bit on the prisoner thing. Just hoping that the army recovers a little bit. Alright, a priest keeps pestering you about divine ideals. He argues that if only no all nobles would listen to the decrees of the divine, the world would be a better place. I shall rule by divine decree. Or, ideals are not practical. Um, it's a 50-50 shot either way. Let's just go with that one. I became practical. And the longer they take to actually get to me, the bigger the army's gonna get. So, he's gonna be in a lot of trouble. 
And this is being like, I'm really weak. My army is ridiculously weak compared to what it used to be. Mostly because of my own changing around of laws. I might have to, to shift the focus back down a bit. 1146, three years. If the war lasts three years, I might just do that. Or maybe even just bump up the demands. But then again, the other problem is my vassals are just so upset with me. Some of them are. Like this count. I, I should not have counts beneath me when I'm an emperor. This land is part of the Duchy of Messen, which hasn't been created yet. And I'm so close to becoming exalted among men that I don't really want to do that. Okay, yeah, you don't need to work on opinion with him anymore. Let's just go work on opinion with this silly count, I guess. Countess. I would love to fight in the hills up here. My daughter became a brilliant strategist, but only a trained fighter. She didn't get enough real training. She's not the one that I care about, though. She's not the genius. The genius is already a formidable fighter. She's got two more years to go. So in two years, we'll know if we're actually going to stick with her or not. Could get the mercantile code up, but since I know I need level two martial code, I think we'll wait. Yeah, we'll just hold off. This one's exciting, though. I'm really getting looking forward to getting this. Fulfilled the ambition to become exalted among men. Excellent. Ching, change of preferences culture. Make a friend, fall in love, get married, amass wealth. I want to... Sure, let's try to make a friend. Actually, let's just do this uncover a plot thing, because I want to see if um, what the informant trait does. Alright, so how's the levy? Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's an army. Let's go. We're back. And we've got 10,000 men. We're gonna come kill you. I'll throw you in prison. I'm not kidnapping that person, no. I'm gonna bring all of the family. Even the daughters can come along. I'll teach them how to fight on the battlefield. How awesome would that be if you could, if I actually had that done already and I could like have my daughters at my side? Look at that. 40, 30, 28. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Let's go. With me, boys. Let's go, son. Brother. Apparently we've pissed off that countess. Round two is going to be glorious. Now we want to try to stick to the forest. Because that's where we'll fight best. Steward Duke wants to hire ruffians to bully the peasants who are not paying taxes. Sure. I've got no problem with that. Move up here into Varmland since it's forest. Forest and hills. I will not kidnap that kid! Um, yeah, I, I do well in forest and hills, so let's just stick to those two. There's your army. Hello there, Hawkmeister Herman. June 14th, June 19th. Oh, we're gonna get you. I have my half-sister wants to get married. Go away. Just go marry that guy. Get out of here. Oh, and you, you're you so dumb! He crossed... He, he left and then he came back. And so I actually get the defensive bonus in the hills. And we're in hills! Damage bonus plus 200%. Defense bonus plus 200%. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, we'll slow it down here. This is uh, it's a pretty serious battle. Yes, yes, he's got lots of heavy cavalry, but I feel better. We have a superior force. We're defending. We're flanking from both sides with two glorious people. Prepare to die, lowborn scum. 
Oh, he's actually gonna take the duel. One mistake is all he'll get. Strike. You easily break through Hawkmeister Herman of Ordo. Z guard. And knock him to the ground. He lies sprawled at your feet, completely at your mercy. It's all over now. He is beaten to the ground, unable to withstand your attack. You have wounded him, but he stands back up, determined to fight on. You should have yielded when you had the chance. We slowly circle each other. You scan him for any sign of weakness. You see a weak spot. You strike. He rolls to the side, wounded, but still very much alive. Why won't you just die? You see another weak spot. And he tries to fight his way. But you force, he's try, sorry, he tries to fight back, you force your way through, easily overpowering his pathetic defense. You strike with all your, for, with your heart. Ah, you strike for his heart with all your might. Die. Yes. The deed is done. He's dead. Victory is mine. You stupid bastard. That's what I was looking for last time. So we killed him in combat, like, right at the start. And now we're just going to pound on his army. And that's 600 men dying per day. While we only lose 18. Amazing. That is amazing. Such good modifiers. And of course they're doing no tactic tactic, which is bad for them. Devastating charge. I don't even think there's going to be a surviving force. Will there be? If there is one, it's going to be very small. Nope, it's dead. We killed the whole thing. There goes your stupid holy order. How do you like me now? Coming for you, you old crone. And I'm going to marry you. Maybe not. We'll think about it. She looks kind of ugly now. So she declared war on me. I responded by attacking her back, or by, by defending, killing her entire army, capturing her husband while we sieged her castle, and then killing him. But she continues to elude me. Me with my glorious beard and beautiful chainmail. Trying to kidnap that duchess. Just because I tried to kill her. What a stupid reason. She's a, I'm sorry, she's upset with me just because I tried to kill her. It's not a good reason to be upset with me. I try to kill all kinds of people. Oh, what's this? Expose the plot you are currently backing. Oh, interesting. Oh, okay, I see it. Uh, let's do the pants act. The Pants Act. The new law has been written and courtier couriers are even now distributing it to all your vassals. You admire your handiwork. Whereas pants constrict not only the lower limbs and reproductive organs, but also the human soul. And whereas pants are known to, <laughs> to be an affront to all forms of life, but man, therefore I, Philiker Fredegar I, command that the use of pants be outlawed throughout the realm under penalty of death. All existing variants of this garment are to be immediately burned and the ashes distributed evenly over the graves of our forefathers. This law will bring salvation to the realm. Everyone's going to be upset with me for two years, but they won't wear pants. That's the important thing. All right, so expose the plot you are currently backing. So, uh, apparently... Any backed plotter... So the next person that actually wants me to back a plot, I'll just say yes to and then I'll expose it. That's apparently how that ambition works. Oh look, another army. Let's kill it. Well, we'll siege your castle first. If you know what I mean. Who are you? What are you? You are the daughter. A ten-year-old daughter. Interesting. You are a twenty-year-old daughter. Uh-huh. You are just some dude and yet again this old crone evades me well what's the best way to punish her I think we have the forced marriage option now let's see what happens forced marriage nothing happened It doesn't do anything. It seems to be broken. That's too bad. I was hoping I could actually do it. Fine, then. In that case, I'm going to... Here. Arrange marriage. I should be able to do that. Like, right here, I should just say force the marriage. 
Instead, we'll execute her. I'm gonna kill both your children. That's what you get for betraying me. For attacking me. Stupid old hag. And now, I'm going to offer a peace to you, and you're going to accept it, and you're going to like it. I'm going to take half your land. That's what you get. Don't you dare challenge me again, woman. Alright, so search for men who are not in prison, who are any marriage, not currently rulers. Yes, and yes, and yes, and no. Sort by this diplomacy is apparently the most important one. I am the... The disguise, and we're looking for newer statuic. This guy. You can have the county of Blecking. Oh shoot! I was supposed to include lower titles. Darn it! All right, I need to give you the religious district and that city. There we go. All right, next. Line them up. Line up for your your <laughs> free titles. And I think that since we're already uh we've already done the the whole become exalted among men thing. We'll just start creating titles now. It'll be a lot easier to manage that way. So let's actually go through then. So what can we create? We can create some duchies. I uh, can't afford the cost right now, apparently. Alright, I do need a wife, though. Give me a woman. Right, can I marry her now? Thank you. We were at war, but now we're not. Oh, that was glory. A glorious war. Yes, we accept your plot. We expose this damn thing. What? Expose the plot you are currently backing. Any backed plotter. Oh shoot, we can't do it with the kidnap plot. Alright, we'll stop backing it. Darn. Hmm. Oh, you should invest in new technology. Excellent! Military! Yeah! My daughter became a skilled tactician. Not bad. We can upgrade that easily. She is a 14, 20, 14, 11, 10. She's a little cheap. Uh, it's pretty good. She's a pretty good character. Let's try it. She's a little she's a little on the pudgy side. She doesn't look to me like 20, someone with 20 Marshall. Out of curiosity, if we voted for her... My son is so much better. He really is. Nah, we'll think about it. I'm not going to do it yet. Let's look at technology first. I can't remember which one I did first last time. It was probably like retinues or something, because I really wanted a retinue, but that doesn't make sense anymore. Morale of armies plus 0.25, though. We would gain an extra... This is what we would actually gain total. So an extra 0.12 overall morale. This would increase our levy. Make all of our men more defensive. Let's do the levy. That sounds great. Okay, cool. Well, I'm going to take a break here. And soon we're looking at um, another 100 points till we can get Marshall Code 2. And then we can start messing around with the next level of this... this idea thing that we're doing, the determination branch, or whatever it's called. It could be pretty cool. So I'm going to take a break here, though. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. See you again soon.